Why is my hair doing this? I, if only I could get a Brazilian blowout from my girlfriend. Later. <laughs> Spoiler. <laughs> Shh. We even announced it. Our Brazilian blowout tour, where we go to every city in the United States and she gives me a Brazilian blowout on stage and my hair is just fucked <laughs> by the third city. <laughs> and they cancel the rest of the tour. <laughs> Welcome to... It's a, it's a mukbang. Mukbang by Julin, right? Well, we were gonna eat dinner anyway, so I might as well eat dinner with you. I ordered some pad thai. You know what this is not for? You. No, he can be here. In the spirit of Trisha Paytas, and food. I Isn't that what the did. mukbang is? Just like a stream of consciousness while you eat? You just eat. Okay, so here's your nutrition. Ooh, veggies. Yeah. And here's my... Can you guys guess what I ordered? Pad thai. It's pad thai. Here, this is for us. I got us forks because when you use these forks... Wait, I wanna use what kind of bite is that? Oh. It doesn't even work. If you're eating anything substantial, it breaks. Wait, did you get the same thing as me? No. You did. The place that we ordered from is called Vestation. Vestation. It's a pretty good vegan place. So this is kale, spinach, broccoli, garlic, and then there is soy meat in here. So it's, and a peanut sauce, right? It's a little, it's a little not. Let's give them a nice yeah, look. Yeah, there's a, there's like a peanut sauce. It's not too spicy. It's like pretty mild. And I ordered two things because I'm the size of two people. Tofu skewers, which is like, basically just like grilled tofu with like some veggies on it. And then <laughs> my favorite food in the whole world, pad thai, tofu pad thai. And we got mistaken. some sparkling water because we have no poise in the fridge. When anytime I eat pad thai, I have to use this, which is basically like, like I'm like showing a makeup. It's basically- um, <laughs> What color is it? It's called it? sambal. Yeah. But it's wow. This is just the chili garlic sauce. It's just like the Americanized version. Whoa. Just like you pull it on top. Also with pad thai, like you never know what's in there. Sambal. Sometimes it's like fish, like sauce. So you have to just like I always just use my own. And you always have to use a substantial fork because the plastic forks always they disrupt your meal. You know I mean, what I'm I saying? I feel like you're the only one that like consistently breaks forks. <laughs> you never seen someone break a fork like me? When he breaks forks for you at dinner. I don't think we're gonna be doing like a ton of slurping like a traditional mukbang, but like it is nice to eat dinner and talk and hang. Yeah, well normally we, it's like Bachelor Winter Games or The Prophet or Shark Tank or The Challenge or Survivor. But it, I agree, I agree. Sitting and talking. And eating. All however many um, of you are here and the two of us and the three of the little lieges. It's nice. I really like watching mukbangs while I'm eating because it feels like you're not eating alone. Mm -hmm. Like when you're in college and stuff, like maybe you have roommates, but like eating alone is like one of the saddest things because you're just like, I either need a show or like I just want someone to eat my dinner with. You know? Col eating alone in college is how I fell in love with The Office. Mm -hmm. I would just watch it while I ate and I was like eating with everyone in the office. Mm -hmm. I used to watch Flavor of Love with my roommate Katie. I at one point lived with two Katies in the same house. <laughs> Katie S is the one I would watch. No, they're both Katie S. <gasps> Um, Did you just realize that? Uh-huh. The tall Katie, yes. You know, like, we used to live closer. Didn't we used to live closer to this place? When did we used to order this all the time? Was there one in Westwood? We ordered it from the Valley, I think. We're spoiled with so many good vegan restaurants out here that, like, we find the ones we like, and then I just... Invasive. Hey, hey. <laughs> she's been, like, extra food-driven lately, so she's, like, licking the ground for 30 minutes after everyone's finished eating. Decrawl. It's not ladylike. Kermit, on the other hand, is stealing apple cores when Jenna's finished eating an apple. He'll, he like literally tries to steal the core and eat it. He loves apple. And watermelon. Mm hmm But they can't eat the core because the seeds have like cyanide or something in them. Poisonous for dogs. I know, because they asked Siri. <laughs> cyanide is poisonous for humans. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it's like high enough to ever hurt a person or something, but for a little dog, I don't think it's safe but he the other night i had finished my apple and i just put the core on the table to go throw it out in a minute and carmit just got up and like ca like calmly took it and just took it back over the couch right in front of it like set it on top of my leg and i was like carmit not your apple my little boy naughty all right i'm gonna try the skewer i feel like rob back on a sunday watching the ball game Son, you want a skewer? What? Cooked it right up on the grill. What an American food. Son. How about that ball game? Son. Okay, no. Didn't you just buy like a beard trimmer? You can you can trim that and stop calling people son. Okay. I'm gonna charge it first, son. That's gross. 
The trimmer's not going to charge itself. Stop. Comma. Sun. This really isn't like that hard to make, but like we have a long night ahead of us, and sometimes I just don't feel like making a peanut sauce and <clears throat> steaming my own vegetables. True. You know? Yours is a little harder to make. You know who I want to share a meal with? Hmm. Waka Flocka. Because he's vegan. Yeah. Yeah. That would be super cool. That video of him cooking his vegan stuff in the kitchen <laughs> is like one of my favorite all time videos. It's really great. So, what are we doing tonight? I'm going to give you a Brazilian bulldog. Also, forgive us for talking with our mouths full, but we're not practicing the best of manners tonight. We're sitting on the floor and eating. Why practice the best <laughs> manners when you already have them? <laughs> Whip. If you're going to click on a mukbang, what is the ideal length of a video? Because I know Trisha's go up to like 45 minutes sometimes. I don't know if I could ever do that. I don't know. Because I, I don't eat that slow. It doesn't need to be like a mukbang to me. A true one, I guess, is like an uncut. You're just sitting there and eating, which is fine. Is it okay if I cut this a little bit? Yeah, but that's what I'm saying is like, as long as it would take someone to eat like a meal, you know, not like a full sit down sort of like soup and salad and whatever. But like, if you were just going to sit and eat your sandwich, like long enough to sit and eat your sandwich with, you know? If mukbangs were around when I was a kid at the dinner table, I would have my headphones on listening to a mukbang instead of talking <laughs> to my family, <laughs> just eating it at the table. <laughs> Did you ever sneak headphones in class? No, the only headphones that were available when I was a kid were like big ones that went over your ear and had foam on them. And they were Walkmans. I guess that would have been kind of hard. No, it is Six not years later, when I was school. in school, <laughs> there were something called normal earbuds. And I learned from, I would say, a pretty delinquent friend of mine that the best way to listen to music in class when it was getting boring is to wire it through your sleeve and put it in your hand and mm -hmm. then listen like that while you look like you're resting on your desk. And I thought that was the most clever thing ever until I had no idea what was on the test. And I was like, why do I not know anything? Where have I been? Listening to your music. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to listen to see that all of those influences helped Nightmare Fuel happen. So you, there's there's consequences to greatness. Did, Did she, she just throw up? I love eating food and listening to. Yeah, she she spit up a little bit. Did you girl? Are you OK? So what happens when you eat off the floor and you lick the floor and you eat off the floor? Peach, don't lick it up. We have a lot of food left, all right? You're gonna make me stop eating. This is a gross mukbang, Peach. The one time we're gonna sit down and, and eat, you just gotta throw up during it. Just just don't throw up for like five minutes. She's not throwing up. She's just like, she must have gotten something stuck in her throat. Are you the kind of person, like, I know you're not, but you know there's people that like wait till they're finished eating everything and then drink like their water or whatever? That's an animal. That's a goddamn animal of a person. I know a lot of people like that. I feel like that's such a dad move, right? Like you eat the whole plate and then you're like, okay, time to enjoy a dad's diet Coke. And then you just chug your whole drink. Like it's just vanilla. Something is really vanilla about that process and not functional. I don't know. I get too thirsty. I like spicy food. Like I want to have a Speaking sip of, of spicy, water, you know? Ladies. And men, if you like spicy food too, reach out to me. Can I help you? I like eating with you. I like eating with you. We're lucky we get to eat dinner together with each other. We like are. Every night. We are. We don't have to work hours where we can't have our dinner together. Mm -hmm. I love having dinner together. Me too. How's your food? It's good. It's actually really filling. I know, so is mine. I know this looks like a big pile of kale and broccoli, but it's, I'm sure very decent amount of fat in this peanut sauce and it's very filling. It's really good. Give us a good mukbang noodle slurp. You want a slurp? Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're not ramen noodles. Weak. You can't slurp not you can't slurp, slurp it, dry boy. noodles. Slurp it boy. Alright fine, you want to slurp? Yeah. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> You've already welcomed them. They've already been here. Once again. <laughs> What was there, a commercial break? Welcome back from commercials. Thank you to our sponsors. 
Why does a scuba diver fall backwards out of the boat? I know the answer to this. I just can't think of it. Because if they fell forward, they'd still be in the boat. Mm-hmm. 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 That was it. That was it. Imagine a scuba diver just like, like, ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> Face Dang. plants in the boat, breaks their nose. <laughs> There's blood everywhere. A shark swims up, smells the blood. Hey. Turns out the shark was docile. Hey. I just wanted a friend. Not everything needs to go somewhere, you know? You can just say things and they can just end. No, it's transporting. <laughs> I go somewhere. <laughs> don't tickle me. Don't tickle me. Don't tickle me while I eat. Mookle tickle bang. <laughs> Mookle tickle. Mookle tickle bang. Feels good. Karma. Sang. <laughs> My favorite thing that Julia never ate, like just watching you eat that just now remind me. The first time I ever saw you eat chicken wings. <laughs> it was like, it was so funny because you get all these wings. First of all, he's starving all the time. So by the time the chicken wings would come, you'd be so hungry. This is back when Julia still ate chicken. I have never seen anyone just start like mowing chicken wings into their mouth and then just leaving their hands as filthy as possible. Of course. Like, tearing them apart, like <clears throat> sauce all over his face, all over his hands. And then when he's done with all of that, mm -hmm. he takes the napkin, dips it in water and like cleans off his face. Fuck like, yeah, dude. Hands. The, like dip your hands in the water. I don't I'm dip like, my hands oh in my the water. Oh my God. No, it's, an, it's the move, dude. Napkin in the water. It's like, it basically creates a mobile bathroom that's super sanitary and clean. You just dip the napkin in the water then you wipe your face, good as new. Wipe your hands, good as new. Normally I would lick my fingers after eating chicken wings, like a normal human. Not really. Well, like when I was a kid and stuff, I would eat chicken wings. You're like, you eat one and there's stuff on your hands and you like wipe it on a napkin. What a waste of napkins. Might as well pile it up. Eat all of them that you're gonna eat. Don't touch your phone. Don't, Don't touch, touch anything. anything else. Cause the task at hand needs to be finished. Once it's finished, you address the problem. I eat the mobile bathroom. It was just like such a mess and I was like looking over at him and I was like, oh, okay, okay, okay. But no more chicken for me. Mm -mm. No more meat for me. You still eat vegan chicken wings that way. Well, the vegan chicken wings I eat come on a little stick to simulate the bone. Like if I'm really hungry, I'll just, I'll, I'm going for it. Like, the whole thing. Whole thing. But that's only like the first one. Then as I move on, I like to mix the wings with whatever other dish I got, so I like break them up and put them in. And it's all over your hands. All over my hands. He does everything that another Part person might do experience. with like a fork and a knife with his hands. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm full. This mukbang, guys, has been brought to you by... Okay, just because you're done eating for now doesn't mean you should start fucking with your food. I hope you enjoyed watching us eat. Let me know, please, what you ate while you watched this, because I'm curious. Or if you're the kind of person that drinks all your water at the end of your meal. And why. <laughs> also DM me, I can help you out. But yeah, thank you guys, I appreciate you hanging out. Now it's time to clean up and have Jenna straighten my hair chemically for a video. Look how good the little chick was. What do, how do I end this? <laughs> You have to be done eating, so put your food away. I'm done eating. <laughs> what is wrong with you? My legs are completely numb from sitting like this for You're however long. You're fine. <laughs> You're fine. Tune in next time when we eat one whole entire block of dark chocolate. It's gonna weigh three pounds. I'm live streaming it to Meerkat. Goodbye. <laughs>